2021, we left our good-paying jobs close to the city of Philadelphia and headed for a country life in the mountains of West Virginia. We had a piece of land, a camper, a dream, and each other. Since then, we've worked hard to start our life here, and we're taking on the biggest challenge of our lives, finishing our Barn Dominium dream home. Our biggest hope is to inspire others through our journey, because it is possible to follow your dreams. With winter upon us and a very real threat of losing electric and our source of heat, we made the decision to install the wood stove as soon as possible. So we got to work building the hearth and the heat shield. We have the first layer of the cement board installed, but came up short on some of the supplies. So we're gonna jump over to the entertainment wall until we can get to town for supplies and finish the wood stove wall. We're doing this wall as an exact replica of the wall that's going to be behind the heat shield. So we did all of our measurements and figuring out how to do what's needed there to meet heat shield code, getting to a dimension of five and three quarters inch total depth. So we had to figure out how we're going to do our lumber and create our pocket area for our door and the entertainment wall to be exactly five and three quarters inches, which we have it all figured out. That took some time. Anyway, so we're going to start our wall here. We're going to mark it out to the five feet so that it's five feet just like that one. And we're going to start building. Five dollars to drop it. So there is our entertainment wall. So that is all done. The only thing left to do is run electric into it and then put our cement board on it so that we can do our tiling. We'll do all that as we get to the end though. But basically what we created was behind here is our cavity for our barn door to slide into. And then this other side is just a solid wall. There it is. That will be our entertainment wall going all the way up and down. And then here is our heat shield wall, which will have our wood stove in front of it. All right, guys, check it out. Our wood stove is here. We are so excited that it's finally here. We went out yesterday. We got all of the materials we need, the piping and everything that goes through the roof to get it installed. The only thing holding us up is this right here behind us, which is the heat shield wall. And we had to go and pick up some other things to get that finished as well. We were going with one direction and we decided to change to another direction. Um, and that is using hat channel instead of 
metal studs. We started with the metal studs, but the hat channel is just going to work a lot better in this application. So I'm going to get the hat channel all installed now. Then we get another layer of the cement board and then we'll tile it all. We'll get the tile on the floor all grouted as well. Then we'll open up the wood stove and get it all in place and all of it put together and we'll be able to show all of you guys that during the process. But let me get started on the rest of this heat shield wall now. Are done with our metal furring strips or hat channel or hat track whatever you want to call it they are all up secured good to go next step is we're gonna do another layer of the concrete board so So a big part of doing a heat shield wall, and again, check with your local fire code and everything else. I'm just telling you what I learned. I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. Just the research that I've done and why we're doing what we're doing is that you need to have a one inch gap between, a lot of people will have drywall here and then cement board. We did cement and cement, but there needs to be a one inch gap here and the studs in between or the hat channel or whatever you're going to use has to be non-combustible. And basically what's going to happen is this is going to create air. This is why we didn't go all the way down with our, our metal pieces either, is the air needs to be able to come. We're actually going to vent it from the side. But the air is going to come into that bottom here and be able to easily flow straight up and out, which this will be open at the top so that the air can just freely move behind the wall and create a cooling area before it gets to the other wall. And that's what helps make it a heat shield. So that's currently, as of doing it right now, following the manufacturer instructions for the stove and also everything I've read and watched and, you know, again, not an expert. Here's a, here's a disclaimer. This is how we're doing it. Please make sure you're doing your own research. So next up is another round of the cement board on the outside here. Serious. You can't be serious. You cursing me out yet? <laughs> I was just saying you can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we are all set with the second layer of the cement board on our heat shield wall. Next up is tiling. We're going to get all the tile up on this board. It's going to look beautiful. I can't wait. I can wait, however, on doing the tiling, but I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. 